and I, these are not your uh, so-called hacker. What's the name of that company? Uh, country? Russia or China or North Korea. These are from here. As I told people, you really can't get away because all of the programs that you get, they are all put through the system under, give me a second, I got to get back online. They're all put through the system under federal regulations, the FCC, the FTC, blah, blah, all of those wonderful little bottleneck soup companies and conglomerates and government quasi-corporation organizations. So, because Congress regulates everything, they are bound by those regulations. The problem is, I've had enough. So, what I'm about to do, and I'm going to do it offline. Forget, no, nah, yeah, I can do it offline. I don't need the internet for this. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to be able to explain to you guys what's been going on and how that's been going on. What's been happening is the wonderful system has been interrupting my videos only the videos they haven't been messing with systems and everything when I'm not doing a video when I'm doing basic research nah, I don't have no problems but when I'm doing a video and I got this little thing right here counting all of a sudden nothing works nothing now Mind you, I've shown you on video how the interference is, how when I'm looking for something, I can't get there, can't find it, but I can go on the tablet, the phablet, the cell phone, and get to the location, but just on the computer, I can't. I did find out that there was a malware, not malware, malware, I used malware bytes to find out that my DNS had been hacked. DNS, all you gotta do is go do some research, DNS, okay? Now, because my DNS has been hacked, now, see, I'm connected to the Internet, but as you see right down here, I'm not connected to the Internet. That's the other thing. How can you be connected to the Internet and not be connected to the Internet? Well, because I do have the Wi-Fi going, I'm about to disconnect the Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi won't be going. So that we don't have that problem no more. Now, get back to my conversation with all of you. You see, no more communication. No more Wi-Fi connection. Now, technically, see, it's showing I'm connected. I am not connected. I've disconnected the Wi-Fi. That's why we're at zero. But it's showing that I'm connected. Before, it showed I wasn't connected while I was connected. Yeah, that's the system. It's not a tweak or a glitch or anything in the system. It is what they do. You hear about remote control? I've turned off all of the remote access associated with this system so now I'm gonna have to I had ESET installed before so now I have to download the uninstall tool so I can install ESET because it's a Russian based company it's a whole lot better than McAfee and a whole lot better than uh, Norton and so that's why I would prefer ESET and ESET is aggressive it lets you know when people are trying to hack your system so me and ESET we're about to become friends on a side note, ladies and gentlemen, I was doing a video and let's just say while doing that video there was interference for the entire six minutes of the video. The video was only six minutes long, but there was interference. Should not have been an interference on a six minute video. Six minutes! I started that six minute video at 10 o'clock. It is now 11.15. Now when I say six minutes, that's as far as I got before all the interruptions. Before the fact that when I put it on pause, I couldn't get it off pause. You know what I mean, Vern? So, we're going to get back to our music. Okay. Street lights! Alright, now we got to talk. And what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to tell you how to get your paperwork through. All of you have been... Talking about, well, they won't do this and they won't do that. That's because you're not following procedures. Ladies and gentlemen, with government, there is one thing that you need to understand. There is one thing that you need to understand about government. It's, it's all about policies and procedures. Okay? Give me a second. I have to correct something. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And the reason why we are back is because we need to get your attention. Many of you have been in a process or habit of filing paperwork upon paperwork upon paperwork, and your paperwork has been deemed to be frivolous or meritless. Do you know why your paperwork is deemed to be frivolous or meritless? Let me show you. As I told you, Maxine Waters, the very first thing she taught me was documentation is everything. Document everything. Keep records. I have tons of records from years. I keep records, people. That's why I have terabytes worth of hard drives on my computer, which is why they go after my hard drives. Every single time, all of my hard drives have always come up missing. They do that intentionally. Don't worry about it. Administrative process refers to a procedure used before administrative agencies. See, they have their own procedures. You guys are not following their procedures, you're following yours. You created your own procedure. You created your own documents. You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot enter into their arena with your junk. You get strip search. They take all that junk off of you. You go in there bare naked. Why? Because you're in the wrong uniform. Look, even in scripture, Jesus talks about the bridegroom inviting the guests to the wedding feast and how several of them try to get in who were not wearing the proper attire. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are out of uniform. You cannot, you don't worry about it. You cannot enter into that arena unless you come equipped. You're not coming with the right equipment. Now, there are a lot of ignorant people out there who are going to say blah, 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 blah. Let me show you something. All I did, ladies and gentlemen, was... Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. Oh, God. I, I took you to the wrong one. We were supposed to be going here. All right. The only thing I did was put in sample bond templates. After I put in bond, sample bond templates, I decided to click on sample.net. That's right, www.sample.net. www.sample.net took me to their business contract agreement bond agreement section. Okay, give it a second to pull up. And these are all the sample bonds. So the first thing I pulled up was the performance bond. I don't know if it's going to pop up because, like I said, they've been messing with some of the systems and the registry. So I got to get around their stupidity. You know what? I think I have another program I can open it with. Give me one second. I'll be right back, y'all. All right. I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful. Although I grew up listening to a lot of songs. When I was a child, I didn't pay attention to the words of those songs. I knew the words, just didn't pay attention to the words. So now I'm starting to pay a little bit more attention to words, ladies and gentlemen, because it's absolutely necessary. What I am trying to tell you by this video right here, this is something that many of you are not aware of. They have procedures. Do you see all of these different bonds right here on this page? This is a performance bond. Now I took the performance bond. You're going to see that there's a bid bond. <laughs> Look, bid bond uh, agreement right here. Okay, so you have your performance bid bond and let's see, your bid bond, your performance bond, and your God, I can't think of the other one right now. Sorry, don't worry about it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing you have to do is follow the format. Stop creating your own junk that is so out of whack and you say all this other junk. Look at this is only one page. This is a cash agreement bond. Okay, corporate bond agreement template. That's all these are templates. So stop adding all that junk. Stop trying to think you're protecting yourself. You cannot protect yourself the way you think you're protecting yourself. Because your documents, your junk will be ignored. Okay. So here you are. These are tons of sample bonds. Don't mix and combine them. Each bond serves its own purpose. You did not create the process. So stop trying to reinvent it. Stop trying to tell them how to run what they're doing. 
follow procedure people God, you're getting yourselves in so much trouble and you're going through so much stress. Well, they did this and they, they ain't did nothing. You did it to yourself. You're the one who failed to do the research. You're coming to me asking me for my help on accessing the system when you're not even knowledgeable about the system. Well, I did this and I... Yes, you did. You did it. You did it to yourself. So if you guys are trying to figure out how to access the system, you're going to have to do it the right way. And you haven't been doing it the right way. I don't care. But I did this. I, 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 I authenticated my birth certificate. Where in the, did you get that process from? Huh? Hold on. Let's, let's, let's see if there's such a process in government. Hold on. Let's duplicate this tab. Give it a second. I'll be right back. All right, I put procedures for authenticating a birth certificate. Let's see what they say. Sorry, I'm eating some granola and some fruity pebbles and Captain Crunch mix. That's how I snack. I don't do potato chips anymore and I don't do cookies. That's a lot of sugar! You know what it is? It may be a lot of sugar, but for a person who's low on energy, I need that stimulant. Okay? So, focus on your own junk, mother... I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, worry about yourself. Well, then you can't be good... Then don't worry about it. Literally. Don't worry about it. Move on to something else. Go mind your own mother business and stay out of mind. You follow me? For the rest of you, we're going to continue to talk about this. Let me let you know. It didn't go to my authenticated birth certificate. So let's do that again. Now, remember, the issue here is they're not accepting your documents because you are following documents. It has the right title on it, but it doesn't have the right information on it. It's too complicated. It has too much information for them. It has all kind of arguments and conclusions of laws. They don't need you explaining to them why you get the right to do that. You're explaining yourself. Why are you explaining yourself? They didn't ask you for an explanation as to why you are doing what you're doing. Well, some of them do. Oh, look at this. They say they're having trouble. Hold on now. We'll be right back. You know, last night, the DJ stole something from somebody. Because, you know, there's not a problem that he can't fix because he can do it in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Now, how to authenticate a birth certificate? Get an original copy of your birth certificate. Pay attention from the California Department of Public Social Services. Public Health, sorry. Fill in and complete out the request form. Prepare an envelope with all the papers, including $26 for authentication fee, uh, fees. Obtain an apostle stamp from the Secretary of State. And it gives you two ways. 2018. That's not the government. That's some organization saying that. Uh-uh, we want the government's procedure because they're the ones who established the procedure, not you. Uh-oh, usbirthcertificates.com. They got, oh, oh, travel state gov. The, the state gov. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. We, because they talk about birth certificates here. It's, and it's, uh, look at that. Apostles authenticating documents for foreign use. Well, the United States is foreign. I know it's kind of nice to get technical, huh? Ooh-wee, getting technical is what you do, right? You just get technical because you just be rationalizing and realizing and reorganizing and everything, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. So you ain't got no business watching this video. If that's how you think, if you think that that type of logic is going to work, man, you got problem, which is why nothing's working. Hmm, found a virus? I know what you found. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Windows security didn't find a virus. I know exactly what it finds. It finds it all the time. It ain't got nothing to do with my problems. Okay. But we're going to talk about that, me and them, in a minute. But let's get to this authenticated birth certificate thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm only doing this as an example. There are a lot of other things that people are doing. You are taking the bid bond, performance bond, and payment bond. Those are the three. You're taking those three items and you're using their forms, but you're not following the rules on how to fill it out. There are other documents that go with it. You don't, you're not aware of that. Okay? You're not aware of it. However, I'll show you in a second so you, so, so you know. Effective as of July 15, 2020, authentication fees have increased to $20 per document. See, you guys, the government is making a whole lot of money off of y'all. Okay? Because there's hundreds of you filling out this form to get your records authenticated. All you got to do is tell them what country you're going to, what your travel plans are, and fill out the DS-419 form. They tell you right here how to do it. So why are you paying these <coughs> characters to do it for you when you can do it yourself? $20 is all it's going to cost you plus put a stamped envelope and put a return envelope in there and you you good to go but why are you authenticating your birth certificate it already has the full faith and credit seals on it okay ladies and gentlemen notice this right here now let's put uh, we're gonna do a search okay we cannot accept copies unless they are true certified copies from a notary public. Please note that birth certificate, marriage certificate, death certificate, divorce decrees, court documents, and federally issued documents cannot be certified by a notary republic as true copy. These documents must be certified by the Secretary of State. That's why they have you send it to the Secretary of State for your state. Why are you letting them do that? All you got to do is follow the rules, ladies and gentlemen. You want to authenticate your birth certificate? You knock yourself out and authenticate it, but you're not traveling overseas. You're not going into a foreign jurisdiction. Every jurisdiction you're going into is the jurisdiction you're trying to get redressed through. How can you go to the government saying, hey, look, I got this problem and I need some help, and then tell them you don't recognize their status? that they are a fraudulent organization you hypocrite you want to go to them and ask them for their help recognizing they have the authority to help you but then in the next breath you want to not recognize they have the authority we just did a video just a moment ago about voter registration how that's the consent that's what gives them the authority like I said, it's not the agency, it's the people who are running these agencies. That's the problem. Another story for another time. Now, we get that out of the way. That's your certificate authentication process. We're going to come right back to here. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have shut that down. I should have just went backwards. Oh, well, because this hasn't opened up yet because I shut down the Internet and then I started it back up. So, as I'm apologize. Let me show you the performance bond. Name of the development. And Hanover County, Virginia, Planning Department. Look at that. This is a template from an actual government agency. Look at that. And it's all their language. Okay? And all you got to do is take care. Uh oh, the county shall deposit the stated sum in an interest-bearing account in the institution insured by the FDIC for a term of the required performance and any extension approved by the county. Now, how are you going to take care of that language? Do you understand? But this is necessary for you to identify where the funds are being held or that you're going to be holding the funds. Now, the reason why they say an interest-bearing account because their policies require them to put the monies in an interest-bearing account because they got to get paid. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, follow their rules. You don't have to go and read a hundred books. Most of these documents come with instructions. Not this document, but you can contact Handover County. 
or whatever county you're using the bond for. Okay? There you go. Stop trying to rewrite the book. Start trying to create a new process. You can't create anything new because you don't own the process. You don't control the arena. You think you do. You're acting like you do. Stop it. Please stop it. Okay? You guys are amazing. But you need to stop. I keep telling you guys. We follow policy. We follow the rules. We follow the law. That's why SATCOM has been in business for five years. Come this the well, actually, it officially started in August of 2016. That's when I started doing the videos, telling you guys about SATCOM opening for business, and we did our first bond December of that year. We have been registered in Nevis Kitts Islands for greater than three years. You know, as a matter of fact, I got to take care of something with those islands. We are a foreign organization. And our foundation is secured under the Nevis Kitts Foundational Charters. So, now that we've gotten that all cleared up, would anybody thinking that there is something nefarious going on at SACOM, I won't allow it. Some of you are too ignorant to understand this fact, so let me explain it to you for the hundredth time. Because I use the name Jehovah, and because I tell you that I am one of Jehovah's witnesses, if I were to not keep my word, if I were to sit up here and try to be dishonest and take from somebody something that I don't have the right to take, then I bring reproach on his name and I have to answer to him. Let me tell you something. He is more powerful than any of you and any government on this planet or any other planet or any other section of any other universe could possibly amount to. Ever. And I don't fear him for that reason. I fear him because I don't want to displease him. He is my God, my friend, my father. Now if you don't understand it, I don't care. But there are a lot of you that are so past common sense, it's pathetic. So I have to do videos like this for the people who do have sense. My people. My people, this video is for you. Many of you are wondering how to do a trust agreement. So we put the entire library of trust. You don't need to go anyplace else. Anything you need to know about a trust is right there on Start Your Own Program. All you gotta do is click on Start Your Own Program and a study of trust. That study and education, one of the first links that you get to click on when you go there. Everything you need to know about trust. I talked to the family yesterday, told them this. They didn't get it at first. I don't even think they still realize that everything is about trust, people. Every corporation, every government is set up underneath a trust. Why, where do you think Sesta KV came from? That was the king setting up a trust. Ladies and gentlemen, I keep trying to tell you it's all about trust, and y'all need to know that. So for free, we put the information about trust up there. You can do your own trust. You don't need us. The only thing we're doing is we're assigning credits. Now, did a video earlier. Hold on, gotta show it to you so that you understand because many of y'all don't understand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to pull it up again. Yeah, because it didn't save. So give me a Ladies and gentlemen, since 2018, I commissioned an assignment for research to be done dealing with tax credits this is a notice to the fiscal services for an administrative also to delinquent debt tells you about cross-servicing set-off program or TLP that are governed under 26 USC 6402 so let's do that we're here let's do that Um, you know what? As a matter of fact, we're going to do something different. We're going to take this whole phrase 
Because we need to make sure that you're not being misled under any circumstances. Because there are some individuals out there that are pumping information, and you guys are eating and feeding on that information, and guess what? They are not giving you the truth. They're giving you what they've heard somebody else say. And then there are some individuals who are putting out information. who doggy! And they work for agencies to give you misguided information. So you go by that misguided information, and there you go. You get trapped. Because you get so entwined into the misguided information that you believe it to be so. And you find little nibbits and gibbets here. And all of a sudden you think that that's the way to go. Sorry Charlie. Life doesn't work that way. Okay. That's why I go to the habit of showing you everything. Give me a second. Okay. Let me go ahead and show you. The research that was done. Pulled up this code. Authority to make credits and refund. The secretary is authorized to prescribe regulations providing for crediting against estimated income tax for any taxable year for the amount determined. Now, that's just one. Federal law on accepting offsets as payment in full. Ladies and gentlemen, I told all of you. I say for paying your child support, you can use your tax credits. Federal law on accepting offsets as payment in full for pay attention for your debts against your banking financing institutions you have the same things the exact same laws let's go there see 3617 now here's the thing I told the staff at SACCOM, there was a particular group of individuals working on this. I told them, this is what I'm looking for. I said, I don't have the proof. I said, I need you to find it. I know we can do it. I said, I just need to find the codes. Ladies and gentlemen, the people who were, and that's why he referred to it as TOP, Treasury Offset Program. Is a centralized offset program administered by the Department of Treasury Bureau of Fiscal Services to collect delinquent debts all federal agencies and states. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a program that they've set up so that the agencies and states can do it. Ah, but look at that. Unitary creditor. All subdivisions or organizations sharing a single taxpayer identification, TIN, are responsible for all federal and state debts associated with the TIN. This means that if two corporate divisions are using the same TIN when interacting with the federal government, TOP will offset any eligible payment. The government gets to do it, you get to do it. But does this mean we can use their program to offset? Of course we can. Because it's not the program. Okay, it says it is a centralized offset program. But pay attention. It's not the only program. Okay? So we, and here are all the codes, everything, letting you know. Now, the only reason why the government gets to do offset, hold on. Let's see. Watch this. I'm going to put in, well, we did duplicates, so we're going to let it pull up so that I can go in the search bar. But watch what I put in. As I've been saying to you guys for quite some time, it's not about they're not doing this, they're not doing that, they're not allowing this, they're not allowing that. It's not about that at all. It's about the simple fact you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how. I got to go for a second. I got UPS here, and I need to talk to Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I simply put in there, the government's right. Sorry. <laughs> I have my music in the background. Anyway, the government's right to common law offset. The right to offset offers to the common sense ability to reduce or eliminate your payment obligation to a party who owes you money on another contract with offset 
the common law largely, tr largely, anyway, largely tracks common sense. The right to offset can also be established in a contract or a subcontract. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the government gets its right to offset debt from the common law. Okay, what is meant by withholding and set off? The government's common law right of offset. Okay, that's why the Treasury has the program. They are using common law. If they can use common law, you can use common law to offset your debts. Do your research, people. I'm not the guy who is all knowledgeable about this. Please understand, what I am trying to give you is I only do things I know I have the right to do. So we did not start here it is, federal law and accepting all sudden payment in full. Didn't we just go there? This is FiscalTreasury.gov. It's the same thing. Okay, they have their own debt collection services. They are a corporation, people. There is nothing wrong with government being a corporation. The law says all government are corporation. Like I said, we just came from here. So this lets you know that everything that I'm talking about can be backed up with their own policies. All we're doing is mimicking their policies. If they can do it, we can do it. If they can do it, we can do it. If they can do it, we can do it. You just have to get that into your head. Okay. Now, some people say, well, you're making us feel stupid. No, I'm not making you feel anything. If you're feeling that way, it might be some truth to it. Okay? I'm just telling it to you like it is. I wish I could sit up here and have empathy and sympathy for your plight. But I got to where I am because I went and looked. I went and searched. I even brought people on the SATCOM and assigned them to just simply this task and nothing else. They just couldn't... Ladies and gentlemen... A lot of people couldn't grasp the concept of tax credits. To this day, they still can't grasp it. The two people I talked to last night said, Hey, we're not understanding. You, you, we hear you saying tax credits, but we don't understand that. Okay. Offset or recoupments under common law, state law, be conducted more than 10 years after government's right to collect the debt first secured. This is Cornell Law. Ladies and gentlemen, do your research. Everything is right there. Stop trying to create a document that says everything it needs to say. Ladies and gentlemen, you can create a contract. Anybody can create a contract. That, that is your right to create a contract. The government cannot interfere with your right to create a contract. The term administrative setoff has the meaning as provided in 3701A1. Okay, debts arising under the Social Security Act, except that's provided in here. Payments made under the Social Security Act, except that's provided in here. Okay, debts arising under are payments made under the Internal Revenue Code. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Tax refund offset. Or the tariff laws of the United States. Okay, so please understand, all you have to do, everything is right there in front of you. You don't have to go all over the internet for it. Yes, I know, until I brought this to your attention, you did not know. And those of you who are, well, I knew, uh, those of you ignorant people who will say something stupid like that, here's the thing, if you knew, then how come you haven't been acting upon it? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having to deal with people like that all the time, and it's uh, interesting. Means withholding funds payable by the United States, including funds payable by the United States on behalf of a state government, to or held by the United States for a person to satisfy a claim. What's a claim, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry. I had to swat a fly off my screen. Anyway, he's on the window screen. For the purpose of section 36 or 3716 of this title, the terms claim, now these are terms, these are not words, claims and debt include an amount of funds or property 
owed by a person to the United States, including any past due support. Sorry, he came back. And I knew he would because they're not too bright. Being enforced by the state, the District of Columbia, America, Samoa, Guam, the United States Virgin Islands, the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands, and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, United States is a debt collection agency. It's a debt, debt collection corporation. Go back and look. When it says United States means a corporation, that is the Federal Debt Collection Procedures Act. Uh, you have the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, which many of you refer to, but the Federal Debt Collection Procedures Act is what the courts operate under. That's why you all owe a debt. These are for debts made to the United States. At any time the United States claims a debt, that's why it says to a state or to the United States. Anytime there is a debt claimed to be owed the United States, it cannot be challenged. It is valid on its face. Don't take my word for it. Go back and read the 14th Amendment, Section 4. Okay? All right. So, that we brought this to your attention. That we have told all of you. Many of you have your, your way of doing things. Well, your way of doing things is not the right way of doing things. Okay? Your way of doing things is not the right way of doing things. That's your way to do things. Well, your way cannot be the right way. Because it's not working for you. Now look, it's not everything works for me either. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to learn this the hard way. To follow their policies and procedures. My only problem is I hate following their policies and procedures. So I do it to a bare minimum. I find technicalities and ways around their policies and procedures all the time. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not working. It's not working for me. It's not working for you. So stop it. When I say it's not working, yes, I'm having some success. But the success is minor. If you want it to really work, then here's what my suggestion is. Use their forms. You can amend their forms. I do it all the time. Okay, PDF Exchange works perfect for amending their forms. Amend their forms. We're doing a whole tax series where we're going to talk about this whole tax stuff. Sorry that it, it wasn't pulling up right away, but we're going to be talking about this. The government possesses the same self-help right to recovery through offset as any other creditor. Okay? I didn't have to read this to be able to show you in their own statutes. That's the rule. Okay? Muncie Trust Company, there are so many things the Supreme Court decided in that case that's relied on when it comes to taxes. It's like one of the number one cases they go to. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, you don't have to study everything. I want you to pay attention to what I just said because I'm going to say it again. You don't have to study everything from the beginning. Okay? This information, I cannot show you the rest of this document. I wish I could, but I can't. Why? Because it was for the corporation, not for you. Sorry. I'm just letting you know that the information is out there. Those of you who have taxes, who have tax credits, who has child support, or any other obligation of owing something to the government, you have the right to offset it. That is your right. That, that's not a privilege. You have that as a right. It's a common law right. The statutes do not supersede common law. Common law supersedes statute. Go back. Common law was before statute. Congress has no jurisdiction over common law. The courts, if you listen to them, according to them, they make common law. You got to rebut that bull, I mean that stuff. Got to let the courts know, I'm sorry, you weren't created until 1789. And because you didn't exist prior to 1789, you don't create common law. Well, the common law was borrowed from uh, Egypt. 
they'll, they'll say Britain. You say, no, the common law existed before Britain because Britain was ruled by a monarch. There was no common law. It was the king's law, just like it was the king's bench. So common law was not established by the king's bench. The people would never have brought over the king's law to America. That doesn't make no sense. You follow me? Ladies and gentlemen, again, many of you have documents. You've been doing all kinds of documents, authenticating of birth certificates, authenticating of that. You've been following this affidavit, that affidavit, uh, affidavits of the of truth. What the flying fart? Who gave you that idea that you can do an affidavit of truth? There is no such thing as an affidavit of truth. Hold on. We going there. No, we can't go there. We got to go here. No, we can't go there. We got to go here. Sorry, I, I, I got so many windows open. Man, shut that window. It's too cold in here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, A-F-F-I-D-A. Uh-oh. I did that backwards. D A V I T. Now watch this, y'all. Y'all gonna love this one. Of, uh, and then I'm gonna put the T letter because you see, ain't no affidavit of truth up there so far. T, there it is. Affidavit of truth. Affidavit. Now see, I love the affidavit of trust. Ain't no such thing. An affidavit of trust. Okay. See, this the California created an affidavit of trustee, affidavit of trustee, affidavit of the custodian. You see, it's of the trustee, but not an affidavit of trustee. Lord have mercy. So we're going to pull up affidavit of trust template. I'm, I'm loving this right here. I've been hearing about this affidavit of truth. I said affidavit of trust. Affidavit of truth. I've been hearing about this affidavit of truth. For over 30 years now, ladies and gentlemen, there is no such thing as an affidavit of truth. How do you write an affidavit of truth? Let's see, who, who who's going to explain what is an affidavit of truth? Well, give me a second. I'm going to let it explain itself because I'm interested. Wait a minute, how come you didn't pull up my affidavit of truth? Oh, what is a truth affidavit? <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't ask for affidavit of truth. That's the one I want. I don't want a truth affidavit. An affidavit of truth? No, I didn't ask for an affidavit. I did not say truth affidavit. Y'all saw me click right here. How do I write an affidavit of truth? There are six steps to an affidavit. Uh-oh. It don't want me telling y'all about an affidavit of truth. Y'all see that? Now that's not me. I did. I'm not clicking on nothing. I'm just reading. But y'all see, right? Okay. That's why I say they be messing with the system. But I'm about to put a cure to that very soon. Title affidavit. The first thing you need to do is title affidavit. The affidavit of truth. Really? Craft a statement of identity. Write a statement of truth. A statement of fact. Reiterate your statement of truth. Sign and notarize. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not coming from the government. This is coming from G2.com. G2. I ain't heard no G2 Summit. Anybody ever heard of the G2 Summit? Okay. Anyway, let's go on down because we, we, we're not concerned about there. Ah, uh, printable affidavit of truth forms. Affidavit of truth. Seven templates. PDF. Uh, all of these affidavits of truth. Ladies and gentlemen. An affidavit is supposed to be the truth. That's why it's sworn before a notary. Or it is sworn before God. The official notary. The original notary. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this again. All affidavits are supposed to be the truth. To lie on an affidavit is perjury. To lie on an affidavit is perjury. So all affidavits are supposed to be truth. So stop trying to reinvent the system stop grabbing a document from another party and thinking that yeah this is the way to do it it worked for them you guys don't realize the system allows certain documents to go through and other documents they stop that's intentional ladies and gentlemen that's intentional 
They do that intentionally. All right, now I know that the bass might be a little bit loud because the uh, Bluetooth speaker, let me uh, pull it off. It's charging on a computer, but the charging cord that I have for this speaker for the computer is very short. So I just took it away from the computer. Well, then why didn't you do it at the beginning? Because I needed to charge the speaker. And I didn't want to connect it to the main battery, even though there was a charging port there. Because why? Because I didn't want to do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Forget Me Nots, that's one of those songs. Uh, I want to go ahead and leave you guys to y'all day. I hope you guys understand. you got to follow procedure. Documentation is everything, but if you use the wrong documents, how can you document anything? So please stop inventing, 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 and creating, and creating. Just do what they do and use what they use to your ability. And for instance, this document is not locked. Okay, but even if it was, let's see, this is the performance bond template. This is from Wyoming. Now, this is called PDF Exchange. You'll hear me talk about PDF Exchange until the cows and crows come on in. Okay, but let's say this document says something. Okay, let's see. It says FDIC. Now, I don't want it to say FDIC, so I'm going to click Edit. I'm going to double click in here so that I see the line because I got to get a line. Got to give it a second to catch up to me. Where's my line? There's my line. Now, I don't want it to say FDC. As a matter of fact, I don't want it to say nothing. I, don't, I, I want it to, uh-oh. I, I, I moved too much, so it hated that, and so it shut off. So I apologize, y'all. It'll come back up. But what happens, what I'm trying to tell you, if you use PDF Exchange, you'll be able to correct a lot of things. Like I said, when that stuff happens, that's them messing with the system. Okay? Trust me. Because you notice it always happens when I'm trying to show you something. And it only happens when I'm doing videos. doesn't happen when I'm not doing videos. Sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, could it be because of your resources and everything? No, you're, you're well. You're running the fiery asteroid, and 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 so please, I'm using the same computer, same system, so no, okay? That don't work. No, it's intentional. I know it's intentional because we've been testing it out. The meeting yesterday, the consult that went four hours with somebody overseas in Europe, the reason why that took four hours is because five times they kept throwing me off the system. Five times. But we were going to make that work one way or the other. And I told them, uh-uh, I will make time, we will take time, and we will go over this information. Now, if you think the rest of you are going to get that type of treatment, you must be out of your mind. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have a good day. Goodbye.